Hi guys, it is uh, Lisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is you are watching this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me. I hope you would consider subscribing and stick around for all things diamond painting. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for your continued support. We kind of have a mess here, not really, but kind of. I just grabbed all of this stuff, including this storage case and came over here to film. I hope the lighting's okay. Um, most of you know I use the, the natural light from the window in the bedroom. It is a bit of a darker day, but if I turn on the ceiling light, then we have all sorts of glare that just doesn't look good. So we are going to make do. Now, this is kind of a post review plus an unboxing plus a look at what I decided to do with my paint jam set. So if you're familiar with paint jam, you recognize these things. Paint jam is, let me grab a box, never fully prepared. Paint jam boxes come like this. This is a diamond painting company called paintjam.com. I do have a code you can actually use with them if you uh, want to make a purchase. It's my, I think it's just my name, A-L-Y-S-A. -S it might be Elisa 10, whatever it is, it's going to be up on screen now. Anyways, this is what their kits kind of, uh, I guess not kind of, this is what their kits look like. Guys, I've had an awful, well, no, it's not really an awful day. I've had a busy day, a technology heavy day, social media heavy, talking to people day, and my brain is just fried. I probably should be sitting down and diamond painting, which is what I was going to do, but my husband's working today. We have my stepson tomorrow. I thought, you know what? I might as well just get this video filmed before I sit down. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, I'm not going to be unboxing the bird edition, not to worry. I just wanted to show you the box. Uh, I recently finished their Christmas edition. That's what we have in front of me here. So I want to show you guys uh, what it was all about. So I think there were, how many images? 16, 17, 13, 16. I think 16 images here. I guess we'll find out when we look at them from their Christmas edition set. Now they, they are famous for these little, we call them mini diamond painting sets. They create these small images. Now you will notice that there's no artist information on their kits and that's because they are the artists themselves. They have a design team that actually designs these because they're so um, unique and it's designed just to be this size. So of course it has to be very specific. So that is why I know I've had people ask before and yes, they are considered licensed or above board. So here are the first six that we can see here. I had a joy working on these. I worked um, on them over probably the second Second uh, week of December, I don't know, December, I worked on them uh, off and on. I usually pull these guys out in the evening when I'm tired. I need to de-stress or relax and I don't want to fight with a big diamond painting. These things are perfect for me and I had a lot of fun with them. I had planned to bling them up, but I have to say I ended up not doing that. It is a lot of work blinging up a painting and I just honestly, for the month of December, it was heavy with medical appointments and uh, a little bit of burnout uh, in general. Um, I had a lot going on that I just wanted to do it as charted. So I did, but like this would have looked perfect if we, if I blinged up the little baubles or even in the snow globe, some of the Christmas, uh, lights would look cool. Probably the berries in here, lots of options to bling it up. There is a member of our Facebook group, uh, which actually now is called, uh, DAC Fans Canada. Probably not the best video to make that announcement in, but, um, just brand confusion. But, uh, uh, Nancy, she blings up her paint gem minis. She is so good at it. She does share them on the group. I encourage uh, her to share more. Um, I think she does an amazing job blinging them up and she really goes all out. This little stocking was one of my favorite ones. I've got a little reindeer, some presents, Santa Claus, Christmas tree, an elf, mittens, bells, and ornaments. And also I have another one or two that are actually out in the living room. I'm not going to bother going to get uh, that I have in a small picture frame for the season. One was with a poinsettia that said Merry Christmas, but these are them. Now, I recently in the past uh, probably couple weeks, sometime early December, I decided to drag my husband to Michael's craft store in search of a solution for these. I've completed a, quite a few sets. I sometimes will put some of them up in a small picture frame for whatever the season is. They had an autumn set. I did the same thing. And um, 
but then they just sat in a pile on my shelf and I thought, well, I don't really want to throw them out yet, but I also have nowhere to put them. So what I decided to do was to get a scrapbook. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. So this is just a, a normal size scrapbook, scrapbook pages. They have a black um, paper in the middle. And then what I've done is I've utilized both sides. I used some double-sided tape. I cut down the frames. Now, I know they're not straight. I, I probably should have brought bought a paper cutter, but I was being quick. And honestly, I don't care. I just, um, I'm not making this to be fancy. I just want a place to put them. And then I can go back and uh, memories attached to this set. I can't remember what this set was called, but I did work on this during one of my surgeries while I was in the hospital still. Something magical, I think, was the name of the kit. I could be wrong, though. There are the rest of them. So many nice bright colors. I really like that set. And then this one I did at some point. This is one of their, I think it's the plant set, but the first one, I think they have two options now or two editions. This was the first one. I enjoyed doing it. I thought all of the green, I would get really bored, but I didn't because... Um, as you can see, there's lots of confetti, lots of different colors in each painting. So I actually didn't get too bored. I liked it. I did have this one framed for a little while and also one of the other ones. I think one of these, maybe it was this one um, in the living room because I thought that it looked kind of nice. Here is the autumn one. So this is the one I completed during fall in 2023. That's cockeyed there. That's okay. But yes, I completed these guys. Lots of bright colors. I really like the quality of Paint Jam. You can see from here, look how sparkly they are. They are resin diamonds. They do fit together really nicely. You can barely see any gaps. Uh, trash wise, they're not too bad. Like anything, they do have some tabs, but I've never ever ran out of a diamond or come close in a Paint Jam set. So I do like them. I do like having them. I know I've heard some people say, what's the point of working on such a small kit? But when you're disabled and you have problems with your arms and diamond painting is not easy anymore, let me tell you, having one of these sets set aside for, for those hard days or uh, for me is really important. Also, um, days where, say, my neck might not be very good and I can't sit up properly, uh, I can put one of these on a little clipboard and at least get one done. Gets 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 the happy juices flowing. It um, brings stress level down and at least I feel like I accomplished something for the day. Those are on the really hard days. And then these kits are also great if you're traveling. I've actually worked on, I worked on a couple of these images in the car because I had some specialist appointments that were a bit of a longer drive away. And uh, I did work on a couple of these in the car. They didn't turn out too bad. It is a little bit tricky. Or if you're on a plane, these would also be perfect. Uh, as you could see, they come in a nice small box like this. So you could throw it in your suitcase or your carry-on. In fact, if you haven't seen an unboxing of these guys, you could um, totally, you don't need this outer box. All you need, the canvases come in this little thing. You could leave them in there so they don't get bent. You've got your diamonds already in baggies and actually already labeled for the most part. And then if you need a toolkit, it comes in this nice little bag here. If I haven't already unboxed this one, I don't know, I may have, it might be on the channel, but if not, I, I've started unboxing them when I'm about to work on them because I do have a little collection of the paint gem sets. So what I am going to do, I'm probably not gonna do it on camera because it's just going to be very tedious, but what I am planning on doing is cutting these down just like I did the other ones so that I could fit about three across uh, and then just put them in how many ever pages it takes. Now my creative idea, what I really wanted to do was like, I used to make scrapbooks when I was younger very fancy scrapbooks. I don't have any here to show you, but um, I've given them all away. But I would, all the fun, cool stickers and the tapes and the bits and bobs and pieces and, you know, uh, jewels or beads or whatever, I would put in a scrapbook just to make it come to life. It would be really cool if I had some matching washi tape to kind of maybe f put a frame around them or add... Um, Maybe if I had a favorite cover minder, if I used a cover minder with this set, I honestly don't use them. That's just what popped in my head. But I don't know, something to make the surrounding a little bit prettier. Um, even for these guys, maybe get some scrapbooking type stickers, something over on the sides here would look really cool. So if you are really creative and, um, you know, you like doing 
extra projects like this, I recommend taking a look at this as an option. I think it'll be really cool. Again, some matching washi tape and um, perhaps even photos of the tools I used during the kit. I don't know, you can really take it anywhere. But for now, all I am doing is cutting them down using my double-sided tape and sticking them onto that black paper and calling it good. <laughs> But uh, that's what I'm going to do with these. I just want to show you this because it is new and also a little bit of a post review on these kits. They were all really fun to work on. Uh, very little to mi minimal gapping. Again, as I said, no trash, really uh, a, a joy to work on for sure. Now, I think in this container, I have my next, um, what I'm doing next. Is it in here or did I switch it? Actually, you know what? I think I switched it. Hold on. Yeah, I need to grab the other one. Okay, here we are. I had to grab the other one. I actually got these containers in recently and uh, I switched the outer package it was in because this one has a zipper and the other one doesn't. So that's why. But actually, yes, let me show you these containers. I got these, I think, from Amazon.com. I think you can find them on the Canadian Amazon if you look hard enough, but these are like the bigger Tic Tac containers. Um, I like them and I don't. I like them because they are bigger. I like that these labels fit really nicely on them. And I did put a little bit of washi tape down. That's a hack if you don't want to deal with sticky residue on containers, just put some washi tape down before you put the actual sticker. And then they're really easy to peel off. This pops open here so you can pour your diamonds out. The thing I don't like so much is this lid comes out very easily. It doesn't take much force. Now, for what I'm using them for, these little kits, that's fine. And I also don't have kids. If you had kids, I could envision these lids are going to be so easy for them to take off. So keep that in mind. But I do like them for the size. And I wanted to try something other than those round containers that I've used in the past. I've only started using them. Uh, so far, I, I don't mind them. I like that they hold more. That's That's really what the selling point was for me. I think there's about 60 in here. But let me show you the next set I am working on. I'll show you this pen too. This is a gorgeous pen I had made from Donna Bass. She's one of our amazing pen turners in the diamond painting community. She's been around quite a while and she's really good at making pens. Now I asked her, I believe this blank was from a shop called Flower Girl and I asked her if she could make a shorter pen for me. That's typically what I like using and I asked if she had some opal to put as an inlay. So this is what she created. I love it. It's a perfect size, nice and small. I always have one pen this size in my paint gem kits. I've got the six placer and the single placer from Diamond Art Club. Got some putty in here and a glue dot in there. But let's, let me show you the canvases I'm working on next. I think there's some. I also have this from Paint Gem. I don't know if you can get this. I'm sure you could get this on Amazon. This is, I think they called it an A5 size light pad. Perfect when you're working on one of these um, set so you're not getting too much bright light in your eyes. I do tend to like working with a light pad. Overall, these canvases work well with the light pad. Some of the darker, more saturated colors though, for example, in this one, all of these dark reds with the C's, the C should be white, really. It's really hard to see. When you put it on a light pad, it makes it even worse. So um, sometimes I have to turn the light pad off or hold the, the diamond painting up just to see what the symbol is. But I decided to work on the doors next. So these doors are a paint jump kit. I think it's called Doors Edition. I saw Nancy, uh, a fellow community member, working on these. As I said, she blings things out really crazily. And I saw her progress on this and I thought that would be fun to do. Now, I'm not as um, creative or I don't have as many. Where did the other one go? I don't have as many special diamonds as she does, I don't think. But uh, I do have a little bit. I do have a stock of crystals, some fairy dust, some glitter. Uh, I don't have many ABs, but um, I tend not to, in the past at least, not buy AB diamonds because that's the most popular special diamond in diamond painting kits, right? So they already are charted in, so I would focus on other things. This is one I did yesterday. I liked how it turned out. I put some crystals in it, so I used some crystals in the door frame, two different colors, a blue and a blue AB one. Then I filled it in with the regular charting, and then in the 
surrounding the doorway here, all of this vines uh, where they had like red and pinks. I put some crystals, also some glitter and fairy dust diamonds that I had down here in the bush. The purple, there's fairy dust and glitter and the pink is fairy dust as well. I thought it would just be fun to bling it up. Uh, make it a little bit more exciting. So I am going to try to do that with most of them. It just depends what kind of colors I have. I have tons of crystals. I know that. So that won't be a problem. But adding any others for accents might be. But um, yeah, we shall see. I decided to kit this one up next after seeing Nancy work on it. And I can't wait to see how it turns out. Now, did I forget anything? I'm not sure. I just wanted to film this short video so I could put this stuff away. That way when my husband comes home from work, it's not still on the counter in my waiting to be filmed pile. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing wonderfully. I hope everyone's had good holidays, good start to the new year. And I hope you're all doing well. If you are struggling, reach out to somebody. You know, you don't have to struggle alone. A lot of us struggle daily with certain things. Um, I like to consider my little Facebook group a safe space to also share if you are struggling. So if you're struggling, reach out to somebody there or you can make a post. Time to time, I do a little mental health check-in just to see where everybody's at. Sometimes I know personally, I am just go, 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 go. And before I know it, my mental health is in the tank and I need to reset. So I encourage all of you after a busy holiday season to uh, take a little inventory, see if you need a little reset and do something nice for yourself. Until the next video, happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.